it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put together a fun Pringles can. And usually they're party favors, but this year or this one is for the Lunar New Year. So if you celebrate this, um, you know we always give out money in red envelopes. It's for good luck and whatever else that you wanna wish them, right? But look, so inside is the Pringles can, right? But in before you open the Pringles can, there's money inside. So this is my new red envelope. It's so cute. I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's, I mean, I feel like all my other Pringles cans, they're really fun. They're very uh, Disney-ish, right? Cause sometimes it has the princess on it. Um, it's very playful, but look at, this looks like a legit Asian can. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be doing this. Let me show you how to do this. The main thing though, just one more look at this, it's really only two colors, right? I felt like I couldn't really incorporate any other colors. We typically see gold and red. So in order to not make it so monotonous, I used red and gold of so many different textures. We've got foil, we've got glitter, we've got, um, I don't even know what this is called. It's like a metallic gold um we have gold htv we've got red glitter htv so <laughs> we have all types of you know a mix of, of things to keep it cohesive still but to give it that varied look so okay let's get started first thing is um you're going to need the ox i really like this ox because i felt like it had all the details that i wanted so that, I'm gonna show you where to get it if you want this exact one. It's from Etsy. Um, the, the designer is Butterstar Digital, okay? The other thing that you're gonna need if you like this font, it's from, from Creative Fabrica, and it's one of my favorite fonts, and the reason is because it looks really delicate, but it cuts, I mean, it's so low maintenance. It cuts well, it weeds well, um, it's very hearty, <laughs> which is important, right? Because you don't <coughs> you don't want a delicate font where half the time you don't know if it's gonna survive, right? Whether it survives the cut or the weeding or just the fact that you can't even get it onto iron. So here's the thing, if this is called Hannaberry Koo. I do have a membership, so the membership is awesome because it gives me the opportunity to download whatever from the site and it comes with commercial usage. Um, you can buy it. Uh, if you buy it, you know, uh, thank you for using my link. Uh, if, but if you wanna get the membership like I have, um, then I can offer you a 30% off and that's 30% off every month. So you would use the code, the useless crafter 30. Um, so there you have it. All right, so the other thing why I do like their membership too is that it gives me access to all these images that you can then um, upload into Inkscape and create the offset. This whole project right here is all about offsetting, right? The words, the, num the year, and the ox itself. It would not look good if it didn't have that offset. So that's why. All right, I'm done with my spiel. <laughs> Hannah Berry Koo, love this font. All right, so those are the two things that you need, um, but you can use any, you know, you can replace the aux with the aux that you like from some other place that you already have, whatever. Same thing with the font. I'm just gonna show you the steps and how to create the offset and then how to go about it in design space. All right, so let's go into Inkscape. So give me a second, I'm gonna bring it up. Okay, so within Inkscape, what you wanna do is you wanna put in the year and then also year of the ox. Now, when I did year of the ox, I actually, what I did was I did it in Font Lab. And don't ask me why, I like, I just feel so uncomfortable in Inkscape. I know it's my, it's a serious weakness. But in Font Lab, so what I did was, um, I always use Hannah Berry Koo, so it's in my recent. So I'm gonna type in year. And I wanted a lot of space because I didn't know how I was gonna connect these letters or these words. So I wanna create the offset, 
but I don't want it to be so close to each other. And here's Inkscape finally. So let me see if I did it in here. So you can always go to the text here first. All right, and then go find your font. Here we go. So I'm gonna type it in here as well. So year of the ox. All right, so let me make that bigger. So when I click on this, I wanna make sure it's locked because it's just like design space. You wanna be able to pull it out. Okay, so here we go. Year of the ox. I think that's exactly how I did it. Oh no, you know what? I capitalized ox. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you, you wanna make sure you're on your arrow and that nothing is highlighted like this. This is if it's highlighted, right? So click in an empty space to not have it highlighted. Then you wanna go to your paint bucket. Then you wanna pick any color down here, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna select one and I'm gonna grow by 20. So the offset is, it's a positive number, so it's growing by 20 and then I'm gonna do it again by 40. If you wanted to get an internal um, off, an internal offset, then you want it, and you want to go in, then you want a negative number in front of it. So it would be negative twenty. But all right. So the word year is all connected. I think all of these are connected. Perfect. So we should only have to click in one place. So I'm going to click on this A right here, and it should give me an offset for the whole word. Yep. And same thing right here. If you notice. I don't know if it's just my Inkscape, but I always try to click on something kind of thick. Like of the word of, I'm not gonna click it right here where, where the O is. I'm gonna click it in the thick area of the F. For some reason, it works better for me that way. Um, so I'm just gonna pass it along. <laughs> okay, so everything's good. I'm gonna click on my arrow button again. This time, this is the last thing that we touched, so it's selected. I'm gonna click in the white area so it's not selected. And then I'm gonna click on the paint bucket again, another color, and this time instead of 20, we're gonna to go to 40, and then we're just gonna click in the area and it should give us the offset. I don't fix any of these little bubble thingies in Inkscape because I'm not good at it. <laughs> okay, click on the arrow, grab everything. We're gonna fix everything in design space. All right, so take all of that, go to path, Object to path, file, and then save as. So I'm gonna save as year of the ox offset demo, because I've already done this. <laughs> okay, um, you're gonna wanna do the same thing with the 2021. I'm not gonna do that here because it's the same steps. You gotta pick a font that you like to. Okay, so let's go into design space. Here we are. So here, let me move all these things out of the way. Before we upload, let me go over the basics of a Pringles can. You need this lid. This is the top part that is taped onto your lid. So this is 3.18. I always do it the same. Now, you may have a different, I didn't realize that small Pringles cans actually come in various sizes. I just assumed it's either small or the long can, but I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys saying that your cans are different than mine. So this is, and let me, oh, <laughs> I just pulled down my mini. It's okay. Uh, let me grab the Pringles can. I know I should have had it, but I wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, so this is the Pringles can that I have and the weight is 1.4 ounces and um that's really the only thing the only measure of unit unit on here it's 40 grams so yours may be slightly different all right so the circle is always 3.18 this sheet right here that's what's wrapping around here okay so i have this at 9.25 inches by 3.2 then you have two little ribbons, let's call them. This top one is for the, the bottom. So the bottom is nine point, oops, hold on. 
9.385 inches by 0.3 inches, okay? And the reason why it's shorter is it's not going around the lid, it's going around the can down here. Now this one is for the top one. That's gonna be 10 and a half inches by half an inch. And that's, you know, you can make changes, of, of course. Um, I like the half inch because it, it sticks up a little bit. It hides all your imperfections in the circle if you're doing the dome. In this case, I didn't do the dome, but I like it standing up because it, I could glue my ox to it. So it just gave it stability. Okay, now I went extra on this one because I wanted to incorporate another layer of the red. So if you can see down here, let me pull this off. I have the ribbon, it's red on red. So it's not like I didn't wanna do another gold and red, but I wanted to be able to use different textures. So because of that, I made it the same length but I made it thicker so that way you can see its own offset, right? So the bigger one is 10 and a half inches by 0.7, and then the smaller one is 9.38 by 0.5. So you can see, I don't know how well you can see that. So it's just a little bit of an offset, and then, but like I said, it just gives you the details. So, all right, so we have all the dimensions, let's work on this. So let's go to upload. And we're gonna upload image, browse. We gotta go find our file. So our file was called Year of the Ox, right? Yes, <laughs> here it is, Year of the Ox Offset Demo. So you double click on it, click continue. We're good with this, save. And then you're gonna insert it. So select it and then insert your image. And so here it is. Don't worry about the sizing right now because it's all relative. So we wanna make sure year of the ox is all sized correctly to each other. Don't worry about how big it is to the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna make it really big so that we have it. Let's ungroup this. And then I just wanna pull down my layers. So here's year, this one we need to work on, right? I wanna close that, so go to contour, close out that little bubble. There you have it. Let me move my picture over so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. And then this one, we will gotta work on those two little bubbles. Click on contour, hide all. It should leave us everything, or it should only leave us the big round. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so let me put this arrange center to the back. That way this goes on top, oops. Where's my word? I didn't grab it all. So weird. I feel like my, this layer is missing. I'm gonna resave it. Let's see if it's there this time. Let's go here and upload. Oh, hold on, let's cancel for a minute. Is it there? And do we just not see it? It is here. Oh, this is my original. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I need my dinner. Okay, so let's go to upload image and let's try it again. Let's see if it this time it took. Um, so year of the ox. Hopefully it's here. I don't think it. All right, so some someone's gonna need to tell me why. I've always had it come through. I don't know why it's it's missing that layer. So I don't really want to type it in here. So give me a second. I'm gonna go to Font Pad Lab. Let me change this, capital Y, capital O, and let's save it here. The reason why I don't wanna type it in design space is I don't wanna to have to move all those letters to connect them. So I'm gonna save it here, year of the ox, FL pad. 
All right, so let's go find it, upload. Okay, so let's go find our little, our little guy. Okay, here we go, gearbox. Save. Okay, so you wanna click on it and insert it. So I use these different ways to make sure that I can, I don't know, I have all my workarounds. I like Font Lab and Inkscape for my offset. Okay, so here is this. What we wanna do is, let's move it to a clean area down here and ungroup. We wanna ungroup it because we want to weld these word by word. So here's year. There, right? Okay, let's do this one. Weld these. Oh, this word is already welded. It's all connected. I love that word. It's so pretty the way it's written too. All right, let's get ox and ox. Let's weld that. Okay, so we've got our word here. We need to make it bigger to fit our offset. Oh, and look at this. I don't want these two things, so I'm gonna click on this, contour, hide all. I don't mind this one because it's a little bit big, but this little guy, he's just gonna rip up my paper. So let's hide all. Here we go. Okay, and then same thing with this one. I wanna get rid of those holes. So hide all. Okay, so let's say we like everything. Oops, what just happened there? I'm gonna grab these three and align center and group it. I want them to move together as one. So I'm gonna go to align, center, and then group. So you can see it moves as one piece and then when I resize it, it will be resized together as well. Okay. Um, align, center, and then group. Same thing here. Align, center, and then group. All right, so with the wave year of the ox, I wanted to make sure that my orange overlapped because I wanted to give me one solid background. And then I also wanted this middle layer to connect. So I looked at it this way. I wanted this. So you want the pink to connect, right? So you see if the pink is overlapping. It's okay that the orange goes there because the orange will overlap. Okay, so here's that one. Let's look at this one. So we're making sure that the pink overlaps. I think that does. All right. And then I'll show you what it looks like, so don't worry. Maybe something like that. Okay, ready? So this is all here. I'm gonna grab my orange. Let's grab all the oranges. So hit the shift key and go down your panel over here and grab everything in orange. <clears throat> and we're gonna weld it. It's gonna give us that solid background all the way in the back. Then you grab this and go to arrange, send to the back so we can see what it looks like. And then you could see here, I probably could have moved this up a little bit more so that the second layer is all connected. So there's no good way to see this. I'm going to undo everything and move it a little bit closer. So I want this one up a little bit more these two are connected. I believe this was connected, right? But this was not. Okay, now let's see. Orange, orange, orange. So hit the shift key to grab all four orange pieces and then we're gonna weld it together. And then let's move this to the back. 
Okay, so now this pink is good. This, oh, and these two are connecting, but it's okay. But you get the exercise, right? Now we're gonna connect the pink pieces. So grab the pink here, hit the shift key, pink, 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 and weld. And that's good. You can even, I would get rid of that. So I would click on the pink contour. Um, did I get rid of it? Let me look at my thing. No, I didn't. I kept it open. So you know what? I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to leave that there. Let's go to our orange layer though. Do you see that little circle bump right there? Let's go to contour and hide. Oh no, it's my screen. <laughs> okay, let's grab this for a second. Is it my screen? Okay, it doesn't look like it's my screen. Let me undo this for a second. Okay, so, all right, there it is. Um, oh, wait a minute, it undid everything, hold on. Let's weld that pink layer again. And then we're going to the black layer. I would grab all of that and just bring it to the front, arrange, send to the front, so we can see what it looks like. There. Okay, so now, oops, let's group that together so that they all move together. Now you can size this the way you want to. Knowing that this is gonna be overlapping down a little bit, so you don't have the full area of this rectangle, because this is gonna come down a little bit, this is gonna come up a little bit, this can be either a little bit smaller or it can sit on a layer on a foam tape, okay? So you're gonna do that with this, same thing with the ox, and then same thing with the number, the same process. So let's see how close I was to this sizing. Okay, so I made it a little bit bigger, but that's all there is. I'm gonna show you how to put it together. It's so much fun though, and it's so pretty. So here you have it. Can you see it? It's kind of angled. All right, with the top, with money inside, a lucky $2 bill. All right, thanks guys, and have a great, great, great new year. See you next time.